I really think this is a, a milestone progress in the therapy of high-risk mental cell lymphoma. It's going to change the way we treat high-risk mental cell lymphoma. Please remember, because of the natural history of mental cell lymphoma, every patient, almost all the patients, will eventually evolve into high risk. So when the when there's a, when they are high risk, the in the past they are not curable. And uh, I cannot see that the CAR T cell therapy is already proven curable, but there's uh, a hope for long-term remission because we have observed the long-term remissions about the 39% of patients in the even more refractory disease called large cell lymphoma in the Zuma 1 uh, clinical trial. After three or four years of follow-up, uh, the curve still remains relatively flat with 30, over 30% 30 of patients enjoy long-term remissions. We, my, my feeling is that we probably would uh, do a little better than large cell lymphoma, but uh, I cannot guarantee. I, I can see that some of the patients already enjoy long-term remissions, and, uh, and uh, whether this is a curable, uh, curable uh, modality or not, it totally depends on the more the test of the time. We cannot claim cure, but uh, we could be, uh, especially me, are cautiously optimistic. And uh, CAR T cell therapy is changing the way we treat high risk mental cell lymphoma. And because all the patients eventually become a high risk, therefore, CAR T therapy will totally change the landscape of mental cell lymphoma. The most exciting uh, part of the data is the overall response rate of 87% and the CR rate of 62%. And um, after one year of uh, meeting, one year of follow up, uh, the failure free survival over survival has not been reached. And um, the duration of remission has not been reached. The uh, CRS uh, grade three or four toxicity is about 15%. And the uh, CRS, the, and uh, only one patient uh, actually has a, a grade five event. The majority of the other patients did very well. And uh, the um, neurotoxicity grade three or four is also around 15% very compatible with other uh, Kaita Zuma studies in large cell lymphoma and other lymphomas. And uh, so uh, I, I really think that um, this is a, a very, very encouraging set of data and a very, uh, very beneficial risk and uh, uh, benefit over risk ratio. And uh, so as, as like I said, I'm looking forward to share with you with a longer follow-up data in ASH 2020.